What's going on? This your boy, Mr. Right Choice, and today I'm doing something a little different. I have officially went under contract on two commercial properties here in South Florida, Miami. Now, the great thing about this is, this is a person I've been knowing over 10, 11 years when I first started my, well, when I got into the entrepreneur realm. And he has let me help their ministry sell their property and find another property. And behind me is the new property that we're officially going under contract on. And I'm not gonna talk a lot like I usually do because I'm about to have him talk right now after you see the property. Peace. Welcome home. Here we are at our new facility. Imagine with me the possibilities of what God can do when one believes, when one trusts, and one has faith in the impossible. The scripture tells us we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Well, family, well, friends, welcome home. Here we are at our new edifice. As we walk through, I want you to see with me the possibilities of what God can do. Come on in, let me show you around. Here we are going into our executive suites. This is the hub of where it all takes place. In this room, this is where you will be greeted. This is where you will be welcomed. And this is where you will learn to know all the possibilities that God has in store. We have the keys to the kingdom and the keys to the future. We have already gone under contract and now we're beginning the first phase of our three phase process. On this side is the administrative offices. Here is the hub of where we'll be able to train, educate, have the facilities for our secretarial staff and our executive conference suites. Additionally, this is where you'll meet with your pastor, this is where your board will meet, and this will be the room that will help make important decisions about where God will take us to. On the other side is where we begin to enter to learn, but we depart to serve. Here is where our school, our academy, our training programs would experience the lights going on in their lives, just like the lights go on in the building. These rooms will house the principal, the administrative staff, for our K through 12 private school, the Bell Academy. What is Bell? Business, Entrepreneur, and Leadership Academy. This is where we will begin to train the next generation to see their future in what God has them to be. This over here is the first of what you will see. Fully equipped, ready to provide, ready to do classrooms where our students will begin to get trained to be a part and effective in the next generation. From these rooms, the future will be impacted. From these rooms, change will take place. Come on, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. Again, as we walk through our Welcome Center, over here would be the office for our finance ministry, our register, and the business director. From that room, they will make sure that we continue to be fiscally sound as we handle the resources that God has put into our hands. There are restroom facilities here and additional things. Now, let's go into the courtyard, the central point where everything happens. From here you can see where everyone will be able to not only look up to the heavens, but have the heavens come down to them. 
Can you imagine with me a courtyard in this facility where students are able to come, sit around, talk, laugh, and enjoy God? Where seniors are able to come, sit, relax, imagine their future, and thank God for the blessings that he's already bestowed upon us. Over here is the first of 12 classrooms. Enter to learn, but depart to serve. Our Bible study curriculums will be done in here. Additionally, some of our conference will be maintained from this facilities. We will impact the world forever. It doesn't stop there, but it continues. As you can see, we've already got equipment to get us started. Furniture is already in place. It's almost as if the scripture, when it talks about, I will give you houses that you did not build. God allowed others to come and prepare a way for us. The future is bright and I see us in the future. Don't we look much better than we do right now? The sanctuary is this way. On both sides of us, you see classrooms. But this way, we walk into the house of prayer. And although this room is dark right now, wait till the lights come on. When I look in this room, I don't see a desert, but I see an oasis in the middle of the desert. I see a place where people are shouting, singing, praising, and rejoicing as they look at what the Lord has done. Do you see it? Do you see the possibilities? I can't wait till I get the opportunity to come on this stage and do that part that God has equipped me to do best. Minister to you and share with you what thus saith the Lord. And from here, we will be able to connect with you even further. But my friends and loved ones, you brought us this far, but we need additional efforts to help push us forward. Here as I stand in our Goshen, scripture says that Goshen is the place of promise, the place of fulfillment, the place of plenty. I need your additional help to get us here. We've come part of the way. Right now we're beginning our capital kingdom building campaign to continue to get this facility paid completely off, equipped and transformed into what God has called it to be. I have already asked a number of you to sow a special seed with us, a seed of 12, $1,200. Why 12? 12 was the number of establishment. 12 is the number of order. With your $1,200 seed, those of you who are able to sow, we are asking you to help us as we begin to transform and impact the world. Additionally, there will be some of you who will say, I can't be a part of the 12, but I can be a part of the 120, who sees nations changed, who sees others impacted. And those 120 are saying, I will sow a special seed of $120 to help you reach that goal. There will be others of you who will say, I can't do that, but Bishop, I can do 12. You're the ones we're needing. That 144, that army who will sow that $12 seat. And believe me when I tell you, it will go a long way. As we put it into the book of remembrance, your name will be founded here with us as we impact the world for change. I want to thank you for going with us on the journey. 
I want to thank you for reimagining the possibilities. I want to thank you for trusting my leadership thus far. I continue to need your prayers and I need your financial support. Team, we're just getting started, but there's much more to be done. I'm so glad and so grateful and so thankful for all of your efforts. I'm so thankful for all of your support, but I don't want to stop to thank without thanking that team who helped make it possible. For with God, all things are possible. But my friends, I got another one for you. With Combs Premier Realty Group and Mr. Tremaine Wright, they know how to make the impossible possible. All you do is put this hand in God's hand, put this hand in their hand, and they will lead you through the possibilities. Have a great day, everyone.